I am really proud to introduce legislation related to removing school resource officers um, from our schools because a school should be a safe and welcoming place for parents and students rather than another opportunity for developing minds to be traumatized and encounter the criminal injustice system. In Montgomery County, where I represent, 460 students were arrested in the past three school years. Of those arrests, 83% were of Black and Latino students. 83%, while only 11% of arrests were of, were of white students during the same period. MCPS student population is 21% Black and 32% Latina. And this data tracks statewide and national trends. The data shows that schools with cops are more likely to refer children to law enforcement, including for non-serious violent behaviors. This is not something that we can train our way out of or make cosmetic changes to fix police in schools and try to reverse the trends in data. The fundamental role of our police is law enforcement, and this is not the goal of our schools. Parents are sending their students to school to learn not to encounter the law and be set on a path toward additional encounters with the injustice system. I'm proud to introduce Counselors Not Cops, which will stop the $10 million in state funds that supplement school resource officers in local school systems. Instead, it will shift the focus of our state funds to data-driven tools and necessities actually help our students and families. It will shift this $10 million to supplement school counselors, mental health, restorative justice, and trauma-informed practices and programs. As someone who serves on the Ways and Means Committee, we have been scrambling for dollars and resources to actually implement these types of programs. And so defunding the $10 million to our school resource officers will actually help um, accomplish the goals of our legislature and our state.